Okay, we're looking at page 14 in your traditions book at number 42, warm up breath support challenge. The whole idea behind this piece is to just to hold this note as long as you can. You wanna keep trying to hold it longer and longer each time you play. It tells us to play F, so it would sound like this. We want to keep playing that over and over and trying to hold it longer and longer and longer each time. That'll help you refine the embouchure and make, the, make your opening, your aperture opening a little bit smaller so we're not losing so much air while we play. So keep repeating that over and over. Try to add more time to how long you can hold it each time you play. Okay, we're looking on page 14 now in your traditions book and we're looking at line 43. We have a new type of note here. It's called an eighth note. If you see that the eighth notes in this line are coming on the third beat and they're counted one, two, three, and four, as you see on, on the screen there. The eighth notes are on beat three. The first eighth note comes on the beat because the quarter note in beat two took all of beat two. So that means whatever comes first in beat three starts right on the number. The eighth note gets a half a beat, so the second eighth note would come on the and or the up part of the beat. So if we clap and count that first measure, it would be like this. One, two, three, and four. Do that with me. Clap and count that first measure. Ready? One, two, three, and four. So now let's look at the entire line here of 43. We have four measures, and all four measures are counted the same. So let's, let's clap and count through number 43. Ready? Here we go. Ready, begin. One, two, three, and four. 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 Now, it says to repeat, but you can do that on, on your own. We won't do that on this video. I want to make sure that we keep those eighth notes even and steady. So if you're patting your foot, your foot would hit down on the numbers, and the and would be where the foot is all the way up. So it would be like one, two, three, and four for the quarter notes and eighth notes. So practice that some, and then we can play that together. Okay, we're looking at number 43, epic eighth notes. We just clapped and counted through this, so we have our eighth notes established on beat three. So the counting here is one, two, three, and four. So if we, and that's for every measure of this. So we're playing it on D. So we'll go ahead and finger our D. And that's the first measure. So count that with me. Now we're going to play all the way through number 43, epic eighth notes with the metronome. Here we go. One, two, ready. And keep repeating that until you're comfortable with those eighth notes. Then we're tonguing them lightly so it so the air is not completely stopping. We're just bumping that air with the tongue. And this is number 44, Michael Finnegan. We're gonna go out, we're gonna take the first four measures of this, the first two measures, and the first ending. And then we'll take the second ending and work work through each section. So let's play that with the metronome. First, say and finger with me. Here we go. One, two, and Now let's play the first four measures of 44 together. Here we go. One, two, and. Okay, now we're ready to look at the second ending. Let's finger and say the second ending together. Here we go. Ready? F. E flat, D, D, C, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. So it's one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. 
Now let's play that second ending. One, two, ready, and. Now keep going over those parts and then we'll be ready to go through the entire piece. So now let's play all the way through 44 together. One, two, and now. And keep backing that up and going through that as many times as you need to get that worked out where you're not making mistakes and you're going easily from note to note. We're looking at line 45 now, and the eighth notes here are put on beat four. So we would count that measure one, two, three, four, and. We have a quarter note on beat one that gets a full beat, so the second quarter note has to start on two it gets a full beat. So the third quarter note has to start on three, it gets a full beat. So the first eighth note would have to come on four, because that's the next available part of a beat. It gets a half a beat, so the second eighth note would come on and. So if we clap and count that first measure, it would look like this. One, two, three, four, and. So let's go ahead and clap all the way through the line. Here we go. One, two, begin with me. One, two, three, four, and. 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 So if we're patting our foot, our foot's going down on one, down on two, down on three, down on four, and up on and, and back to one. One, two, three, four, and one. So we keep the, e the eighth note even, and those eighth notes are coming on beat four. Now we're ready to go ahead and play through the line. Okay, this is number 45, eighth note escapade. We just clapped and counted through this, and we discovered that our eighth notes in this line are on beat four. So we count this one, two, three, four, and. and that first measure would sound like this. Now let's play that whole line together. One, two, ready, now. <clears throat> you can keep going over that as many times as you need to. Now this is number 46, Skill Builder Processional Dance. In this piece, our eighth notes are coming on beat four like we practiced in number 45. So let's finger and count this. Ready? First four measures. Here we go. Now, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, four, and one, hold two, three, hold four. Now let's play those four measures together. The first two measures plus the first ending. One, two, here we go. Now, Let's look at the last two measures, the second ending. Let's say and finger that. Say the counts. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, hold four. Let's play those last two measures, second ending. One, two, here we go. Okay, now if you keep backing up and going over those sections until you're comfortable with them, then we're ready to put the whole piece together. So now let's play all the way through 46. One, two, here we go.
keep backing that up and going over that as many times as necessary to work it out where you're no longer making mistakes. Now we're looking at line 47, Baja Breeze. This is normally a test item, so you're going to spend a little extra time on this. So we're going to go over this in sections. We'll do the first four measures, the first two measures, and the first ending. Then we'll work on the second ending. So let's finger and count the first four measures. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. Notice the eighth notes move to beat three. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, rest. Notice the eighth notes aren't staying on the same beat on this. We have to be careful and make sure we're reading every measure. Now let's play those first four measures together. One, two, here we go. All right, let's finger and say the second ending. Ready? Here we go. Finger and count. Ready? Now. One, two, three, four, and one. Rest. Three and four. Watch out for the rest on beat two there. Let's play that second ending. One, two, second ending. Keep backing up those sections and working them out until you have them where you're ready to put the whole piece together. Then let's play it at the same time together. Okay, now we're ready to go through it together. Let's play together. Ready? One, two, beginning. So keep backing that up and going over it as many times as you need to to get it where you're not making mistakes, you're going cleanly between each note, and that you get it ready to play it for a grade.